Hello, peoples of whatever. I'm Zelda Master 2010 and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In this episode, we're going to be heading to the third spiritual stone, which is that way where I'm heading to. And it's kind of by a like. It's I don't like want to tell you the names because if those of you who don't know it, you won't figure it out by saying we're going to head to. Dust Mountain, but where is it? Well, you want to kind of navigate your way, f kind of heading to Kukiri Forest and um, Kakariko Village. You know, kind of in the middle, you'll find this river stream. Pass it. You can read the sign. It will tell you to like there. Let's, let's just take a check. All right. So where's the river? And watch out for the whatever because the current, you know, will over take you down. So you'll find the owl. Um, you'll find right now bottles of magic, so let's check that out. A magic jar fills up your magic meter. Thank you so much. Now, um, I want to collect this all time. Here we go. Um, Hoot Hoot, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family. So thank you, um, sir, for telling us all this information. I don't know where you get it from. If you really know everything, why don't you save the world? I don't need your help, so goodbye. And that went well. Um, we have really good times when we chat. He talks for half an hour, and we listen. And then he leaves, and then he is like he's stalking us, like the pedo owl. Imagine how that would be. So while you're waiting for the bomb to explode, you can kind of hit this, and yes, another golden skull to load. Now, they do not lie on every tree. They're not like monkeys, or, well, yeah, monkeys, um, <laughs> um, but, like, a certain amount of trees. So here you'll find a soft patch, and this is what you do with these soft patches. Chom chom chom. How about some magic beans? How about ten rupees for one? All right, sure. The ten rupees isn't bad. Um, I have still for almost forty rupees. Can I have another one? Well, they're not that popular, so he changes his quote. How about tw twenty rupees for one? So he's getting expensive on us now. I don't have enough to because it will keep on hiring the price from thirty, forty, etc. They won't go to a thousand, I think only goes up to a hundred because there's only that much soft patches. And this is what we do. So when you plant one in, um, a small like flower thing comes out or leaf and you can't do anything with it right now. You just want to plant them um, all while you have the chance and we'll get to that later when they grow. Now obviously time doesn't matter throughout this game. You'll see when it comes to starting a point when time does matter. Now here's a piece of heart. I hate getting this one because it's kind of like a fail to get it. Um, you have to jump to the other side and quickly let go if you want to do it right now. Let's see. Okay, fail. Automatically fail. Just fail, fail. But I can get this later, like when I come to leave. Um, I don't know. Should I? Um, yeah, big chance I will. So I'll just skip me trying to attempt it again. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll see you guys. Uh, no. Woohoo. That was perfect. Um, awesome. Alright. Now, you know what? I'm just going to be like, screw that. I can't really head to the other side. Oh, uh, should I? Am I tempted to grab the chicken and t do another attempt? Well, wow. That's a piece of heart. It looks really amazing from there, you know? You know, whatever. Um, here you find a log. I don't want you to head there right now. Um, you'll find small frogs, um, basically you're supposed to take out your ocarina and play songs. I'll kind of explain what kind of songs and what you can't play and what will happen, etc, etc. Here you'll find, um, I don't even know, like, okay, oh cool, so you can jump to the other side. And now I have, god, darn it. Alright, um, please, the stream current, whatever, don't take me. All right, there we go. Link's strong enough. He kind of took on the current. Now, let's see. All right. Um, awkward. I don't know what happened, but the, my controller just sh shut off. Anyways, now we're back 
and head up here enough like swirling around is because all of that was useless you want to head up here and oh no you don't want to remove I want to avoid that octopus tentacles thing and another thing you can do is another piece of heart and right here on the right is a shortcut to lost woods I know that's like wow that's weird um, but it is you can't head here yet and like here I'm playing the Sun Song because when it become nighttime because of the Skultla just at the bottom of right here and whoa where'd that fairy come from? whatever um, head down here you'll find it on the ladder so let's do a jump attack and there you go we got a golden Skultla woohoo now head back up here and this is where Zora's domain lies. Not there, but right here. Once again, what are we gonna play? Well, Zelda's lullaby. Like what the owl said, they royaled the worship um the royal the loyal um royal family of Hyrule. And Zelda's lullaby has been passed down throughout the royal family, so with the obvious um thinking or whatever, you can tell that you have to play that song and the waterfall kind of like the current splits into two or not Moses but just the waterfall part and there you go Zora's domain now this is a different type of like race these are, Zor these are Zora's and it's something you can do once again like what we did in Goron City it's really similar how you can get like an item we got a piece of heart f in Goron City and how we started that big Goron pot to uh, spin around we had to light torches around the area. Well, we're going to be doing the same thing to get a piece of heart, but it won't be a spinning Goron jar thing. It'll be something else. So, light um, your stick with stick, and you, you need to go fast on this one. So, once you light it, this one will stay permanently lit. But the other ones, and you'll kind of tell off like how they look. They look a lot different than um, like, see, they're like small sticks made together with the little cup that holds the fire I'm sure there's like ashes on top to kind of um, keep the fire and what you have to do is on those two torches and two back here you want to quickly do it the fire can light out and it just did so what you want to do is quickly light this and yeah that one's shutting down I'm going to quickly head back here because this one lit off you have to have them all lit at the same time. It takes about like, whoa, fail. It takes about, mm, you can say, a, eh, you can say like one, uh, not even a minute actually, like 20 seconds till, um, one torch goes off. So quickly light this one. Now the rest are all off. No, no, no. Okay, gotta go fast. Will I make it? I'm not sure. So quickly head here, we want to light this one. I'm um, obvious, I know I'm not going to make this one, but uh, I could quickly light this one here and then head over. Okay, there we go. Now I know I'm going to quickly take a spin back and I'll fail. Alright, um, light like this. Now it should stay lit, I'm assuming. I just lit all of them really close timing so yeah there we go now a chest appears and inside that chest is a piece of heart that was basically the whole premise to light all four torches and rolling is a faster way in um, kind of heading through to them but there's water so you can't roll so that's kind of like a problem so open this chest with this green rays of light and what holds inside well a piece of heart really good we're like getting a lot of them right now um cause throughout the game there's a, well a bunch i don't really want to tell you the number now what you want to do here is while you're at it you'll find like a small swarm of fish catch one oh no okay damn it all right there you go catch a fish with some water and don't worry it's not gonna die so those of you who care about fish don't worry and yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not gonna eat it. I don't. I don't. I don't eat fish like, like in modern life. I, I want to eat fish because they smell the same way as it, if they were fermental. You can't tell if it's like fresh fish or fermented. It's because, well, it smells the same. It always smells like 
nasty dead, you know. So yeah, um, do you want to do a diving mini game? Well, I only have one rupee missing. That's really sad. I I just can't do a simple mini game because of rupee, and I might have to head out of this whole domain to get that one rupee. So let's see, am I lucky to like just get a rupee? Okay, okay, it's just jars, so that's go no. All right, perfect. So. I'm not gonna bother breaking the other one, I'm just gonna head straight to it. It's enough if I have to head down and do this. I should've just at least made sure I have um like ten, twenty, like a flat number, fifteen, whatever, not nineteen, that was really just not cool and it kind of bother bothers me. Anyways, you wanna do the diving mini game? Yes, now we wanna play it. He throws or she um kinda moves his hand and blue rupees fall. Now it's all about diving. I have 50 seconds to do it. Quickly dive down. I suggest you get two at a time. So here we have two. Make sure I'm facing this way. And while you dive to get one and then come back up, you should turn to the other one. Now these are the only for the ones that are close by each other. I'm guessing that's only like one set. The other ones you get them one by one. It's a really simple mini game. So let's do this one, and there we go. Can, hey, congratulations, I got something very nice for you. Come and get it. So just head back up to get your prize. And yeah, um, you do need to do this mini game so you can get, kind of head on with the plot because you'll see we will be getting like a scale, and what the scale does, it allows us to breathe um, longer in water. You know how we're only able to breathe up to four seconds, kind of timed as three. Well, these Zora scales allow you to breathe like longer, and I don't know how it works. Like, does Link hold on to it and it gives them more energy to like breathe or something? I don't know. So, what a graceful dive! Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper, whatever. And there you go, the silver scale. And there's an upgrade version of the scale, but you not get them from Zoras. Trust me. You get them from something else that is hard to uh, imagine. Now, since we have this awesome scale and we can dive deeper, well, we can dive here. And you can have Z target to get like a nice view of what's under. Head out here. Here is Lake Hylia. So, welcome to Lake Hylia. Dive here. And, oh, what's this? Um, I'll oh, fail. Wow. Well, you want to grab this if I can. There we go, perfect. And it's a bottle, but what's in it? An empty bottle. Put something inside it. Well, Mr. Obvious, whoever is telling me, is there something inside? Well, I'll check that later. Anyways, here, here are scarecrows, and they're really important throughout the game, so I do suggest you go and learn a song or teach him a song at the moment. So let's go do that. Take out your ocarina and head over and talk to him.